academia and because I'm pursuing a PhD in the philosophy of the mind. MashaAllah. No, it's not a big deal. It's all rubbish. And uh, at this moment, Hamza thought it was the end. But little did he know, it was only the beginning. Uh, look at you, Hamza. <laughs> yeah, I, I just said it's all rubbish. It is literally all rubbish. Because what you realize is it's just humbling. You just realize I don't know anything. Like in, in some of our research seminars. <laughs> <laughs> You're trying to be humble, but yeah. <laughs> I'm not trying to be humble. I'm trying to show you. It is literally humbling. Look at my man, Hamza. Yo. Because we don't know anything. My man doing a PhD, Marshall. He's not pursuing, even pursuing. I might not even do it. Finish pursue it. is just a you fancy don't. word for doing, isn't it? Listen, Habibi. The point is. You're smashing him, Marshall. No, I'm not. <laughs> okay, forget the PhD thing. When I did my MA, when I was Wait, doing my. Wait, <laughs> MA start from MashaAllah I thought this podcast was to be a little bit more serious than Smile to Jannah stuff here Listen to me Habibi, look Yeah, yeah, sorry When I, when I was doing the MA and it was <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, sorry Sorry, sorry Serious Serious So, when we're reading some journals and papers And you know, you're like, wow, that's a very powerful argument. And then you became convinced. And then when you were told to read the other paper that was addressing this one, and it was like dealing with the, responding to the argument, like, oh my yeah. God, I don't know much. Mm. You just realize. And this reminds me of what Al-Ghazali said, the 11th century theologian Rahimahullah. And, yeah, Rahimahullah, and polymath. Can you not break my yeah, equipment, yeah. please? He basically said that if you think your iman, your faith, your spiritual and intellectual conviction is going to come from a deductive argument alone i think he even said this was a bit this is like almost an innovation because someone smart then you can just play around with your premises mm. and then what are you going to do you're finished so he said in order to have that iman is that you need to experience the quran and the sunnah in your life as well which is a very important point because you're never going to know everything and all of this stuff that we're talking about for me just reminds me of who Allah is. He's Al-Hakim. He's Al-Alim. Allah is the wise. He is the knowing. Allah has the totality of wisdom and knowledge. Allah has the picture. We just have a pixel. Secrets. Hey, bruh, bruh, listen on the go on SoundCloud and iTunes. Links in the description.